one do I believe? I'm gonna go with whatever one makes me look like a, a tougher guy. Well, good morning. Oh, there it goes again. So, for the last, uh, this, this time that we've been out, huh? Yeah. We've, uh, we've had some water dripping. We get some water dripping from here, and sometimes we get some water dripping from somewhere around our doors. Yeah, not it's not like it's not like it happens in the pouring rain. It's almost like the condensation from us breathing all night freezes up in the headliner and then melts and then starts dripping through here. But according to some um, some googling, it could be coming from around our lights. But like I said, it doesn't make any sense because it doesn't happen when it's raining. Yeah. We don't have snow on the roof or anything. <clears throat> so I don't know why it's doing that. Anyways, the broker called at 8, 8 o'clock this morning. Said that uh, our appointment is 11 o'clock. Said that we could probably try to go on in there and get loaded earlier because they have a second truck getting loaded at one this is that load that uh, it's gonna be like there's gonna be a rigging crew there to, to load it and then we have to tarp it drive a hundred miles the rigging crew is gonna drive up there look it's still dripping and um, unload us the next morning so we'll get unloaded tomorrow morning supposed to be some conveyor belts with something I think it um, let me see if I screenshot this one I don't think it's very heavy yeah Columbus Indiana to Lafayette Indiana 25,000 pounds 38 feet long so it should fit on the bottom deck steady dripping <sighs> I don't know I don't know why it's dripping guess I could get up there and check those uh, clearance lights you need a ladder for that no I can climb up on the engine I can't figure out so I in a previous video I thought our windshield wiper fluid was frozen but it's not frozen and if I hold this button down long enough it only... Oh, okay. I was out there messing with those rubber hoses. I couldn't figure out. What's going on? I guess it's working now. Make me look like a fool. All I had to do is pick up the camera. I mean, that's fantastic. It's working now because this salt has been crazy. All right. I'm going to get Lita to monster me up. And we are going to uh, go ahead and go ahead in. See if we can get... Uh, see if we can get loaded up. I tell you what, this time out has been fantastic. I've had a good time. Even in the cold, I don't mind the snow and the cold. We haven't had to drive a lot and we've made some decent money. We haven't been rushed. That's there hasn't been a rush. That's That's been the thing, we haven't been like, it has to be dropped like yesterday and then you get there and you're like what even is this i don't remember which like, to no be honest me. i rush i rush myself sometimes because i'm like constantly booking lows constantly pushing myself harder and maybe just with the snow and stuff people are just not in a hurry right now But I'm having a good time, man. Like, what my trailer would be airing up. Except for that stupid dump truck. I mean, which wasn't bad, but there was also something wrong with it. Like that I said, there was, was going to be. That clutch was toast. I should text him and be like, hey, man, what did you figure out about that? 
four thousand dollars for that dump truck, man. Just all of them have been expensive. I mean, to be honest with you, if you were gonna buy a dump truck and make money with a dump truck, up north is where you would do it. Every there's dump trucks everywhere, man. It's crazy. Anyways, we planned on sleeping until nine o'clock this morning. I ended up waking up at 8, having a pee, and then the broker called shortly after, so, I mean, I would have gotten woken up anyways. So, we've already walked the dogs, I've already pre-tripped, Lita's already cooked us breakfast, and it's 9.30. <coughs> we stayed up last night being nerds, we only till what, 12 o'clock? I mean, that's kind of late. It is kind of late. To get up at, like, well, not 9, but, like, we got up, I woke up at 8. I feel great. I feel fantastic. Let's uh, let's go tarp a load. And uh, truck says it's 28 degrees outside. Phone says it's uh, 24. I don't know which one do I believe. I'm gonna go with whatever one makes me look like a a tougher guy. Ugh, it's 24 out. Ugh. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys there. And if this is the end of the video, it's not the end. Pouring out of there, dude. Okay, you want me to? <laughs> you getting dripped on? <laughs> So I was afraid we were gonna get one of those big metal things like they were showing because this is uh, this is a tarp load. And the guy asked me what kind of trailer we have. And I told him an open step deck and he's like, so you have to tarp it, right? I was like, yeah, he's like, okay. So he just called me in there a minute ago and he's like, hey, uh, I'm not gonna put one of these big things on you since you have to tarp it. I'm gonna put all these other little things on you. And uh, he's got another Conestoga coming. He's like, I'll just stick this big piece in the Conestoga. What's up, woman?
loaded up. This is all we're getting. And we don't even have to tarp the stuff on the back. All we have to do is tarp this. Guy felt sorry for us because we didn't have a Conestoga and he's got Conestogas coming. He's like, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you guys work too hard. I'm like, hey, that's awesome. And then the same people that loaded us are the same people that are gonna unload us. So let me throw some blankets, throw some straps, um, throw some tarps. Bumping. Things bumping. All right, I spoke too soon. They came out here on the forklift and said, hey, they want these pipes to be tarped. We'll go ahead and set these up on top of one of those so you don't have to tarp as much. And uh, it didn't look like it was gonna fit. I was like, just leave it here. We'll just, we'll just throw a tarp over it real fast. It is what it is, whatever. Lead is finishing up throwing a strap across this and we're done. We're, uh, we're about to uh, go into an ice storm. There's an ice storm going through Lafayette that'll hit tonight and tomorrow morning. So that's gonna be interesting. It's, it's supposed to be pretty bad. We're gonna be staying in a Walmart right across the place, right across the street from this place. So we won't have far to drive, but I don't know. Who knows? All right, let me uh, help Lita with this. See you guys in a bit. I don't think that strap's gonna be all right. I think you're gonna have to feed it in the webbing here. Yeah, do it like that. So this thing needs to this the love la 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 those things need to be lube? I guess. I don't know man. Put some muscle in that thing. Is that gonna work? Push! I don't want to bend that fast. You're almost there. Oh, why isn't it grabbing? You're going definitely past it. Because it's stupid. Here, hold that. Let me figure this thing out. Why isn't it clicking back in there? Yeah, that thing needs a little bit of lube. Weird, we have to look, it's not that bad. It's just acting stupid. I wasn't struggling for no reason. You were struggling because you're a girl. What's going on here for real though? Yeah. All right, everyone's, everyone wants to hear you say it. What? You gotta smack that thing and say, that's not going nowhere. That's not going nowhere. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's beat this ice storm. All right, we've made it to the Walmart. It is 2.45. Not a bad day driving, huh, babes? Yeah. Not a bad day driving. So those are the other two trucks that got loaded there. And there's one more of us. Some uh, guy who barely spoke any English showed up. Russian. I say he's Russian. I don't know. It sounded Russian. Who knows? Those... There's a couple of countries that kind of talk like that, right? I, yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> Russian, or what were you, what'd you call them? Hey, Fabats. Uh, uh, maybe like a Slavic A Slavic? Country? It's cold outside. 
So there's supposed to be an ice storm here tonight. So that'll be interesting. Huh? Yeah. That'll be interesting, girls. Well, we're here. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, doggies out and walk them. And, uh... Head south. No, thank you. <laughs> and, uh... Hopefully we're okay to park here. One of these guys says that he parks here all the time. And when you look up this Walmart... There, there are trucks all over it. Trucks everywhere. Does that mean they won't mess with us? Maybe it's too cold for them to mess with us. I don't know. That guy's got a Dunin trailer, though. This low pro triple axle. That's a Dunin. They got some big old sleepers, man. Houses. Big old houses. I think this guy said he can do 35,000 pounds, and the other guy, he said, he wasn't sure. He was talking for the other guy. He's like, I think he can do 40,000. He said he can do 30,000. Did he say 35? Because he's got an extra axle. I mean, which technically you could get a permit, but 80,000 to get to 80,000. He said 30 or 35. I'm like, dang, you don't have trouble finding loads with that? He's like, ah, no, no. He's got a Conestoga, though. Yeah. All right, let me get these dogs out. All this is going to be ice. It's all going to be ice.